Thanks for coming. My name is uh, Inusa Maiga from University of Zerki Zerbo. I'm pleased to be here, and I would like to thank you for your interest in this presentation on the development and evaluation of a hybrid constructed wetland for grey water treatment and reuse in a rural area. This work is supported by the United States Agency for International Development. I will start with an introduction, followed by the methods used to conduct the study, the results obtained, and a conclusion. As an introduction, in middle and low income countries, access to adequate sanitation services is still a major challenge, despite all the efforts made so far. Indeed, wastewater is most often discharged and treated onto the ground and into open stormwater drains, like we can see here. This insanitary disposal is partly responsible for the transmission of disease such as malaria and diarrhea. For example, in low and middle income countries, diarrhea is responsible of up to 90% of the under five children death from which 88% are located in South Asia and in Sub-Saharan Africa. This unsanitary disposal of wastewater is also responsible for the eutrophication of uh, uh, freshwater resources due to the presence of uh, nutrients in the wastewater. In addition, Saharan countries are facing an increasing demand for fresh water resources because of water scarcity. And this has a negative impact on food security. Because of the increase in population, we are facing an increasing demand for fresh water vegetables. And because of this, wastewater is reused in agriculture with no negative impact on ecosystem and human health. Therefore, it's necessary to find alternative solutions. Grey water would be a good alternative because it is considered easier to treat than wastewater. However, it still contains microbial and chemical pollutants that may be of health risk. Mitigating these issues can be done through the development of on-site grey water treatment systems and the reuse of the treated grey water for gardening. Constructed wetland that utilizes natural removal mechanism could be an appropriate alternative owing to its affordability, its treatment performances, and the other economic and societal benefits associated with expanded green space. However, it is not as well studied in sub-Saharan Africa, especially for grey water use and its unique context of climate, water use and scarcity, and challenges in providing sanitation coverings. Therefore, this study was conducted in order to develop a constructed wetland using local plants that allows the collection of all grey water sources that are produced in a rural household for treatment and reuse, for treatment and reuse in gardening. The main objective of the study was to contribute to the development of on-site sanitation system for rural households. Specifically, it was to develop a constructed wetland allowing the collection of all grey water sources in rural area and to evaluate the performances of the constructed wetland. How did we conduct this study? The study were, was conducted in rural Burkina Faso in the center part of the country in a commune designed as Kubri. Specifically, it was conducted in two rural settlements 
known as Nungu and Busuma. The gray water treatment system was developed in a participatory manner. We have started with meetings uh, with local authorities to explain the project. And after that, we had meetings with local communities. We had site visits and to select the interested households. And after that, we had discussion with the selected household to take into consideration their needs, their needs uh, regarding the development of the grey water treatment unit. After the design, we have constructed the grey water treatment unit in two different households, and uh, grey water, the grey water was collected at the entrance for raw grey water and at the outlet for treated grey water to evaluate the different parameters. For example, pH, temperature, and electrical conductivity was measured using a pH a EC meter, and the dissolved oxygen was also measured with an, using an oximeter, and the chemical oxygen demand were also evaluated. Fecal bacteria was, were also evaluated to evaluate, to determine the removal efficiency of microorganisms. Therefore, E. coli and fecal coliform were used. The sample was diluted, and a 0 0.1 milliliter was plated on a chromoprint coliform agar medium. This is a specific medium that allows the growth of E. coli and fecal coliform. As it is a chromosomic medium, we can, dis we can have the difference, distinguish, distinguish between fecal coliforms and E. coli. How did we, what did you obtain as a result? In rural Burkina Faso, grey water is produced from three main sources. We have laundry, dishwashing, and shower. So the shower, grey water is discharged directly onto the ground outside the house, the houses, but laundry and dishwashing, grey water are sometimes discharged inside the houses. In order to collect all the grey water produced in the households, we have designed and developed a complex shower room grey water treatment system. The shower room was constructed to allow the direct collection of shower grey water directly by gravity. Because during the observation, we have noticed that uh, shower grey water was the most important in terms of quantity. So therefore, it is necessary to collect this grey water. And because of the fact that the grey water system will be outside the household, it will be difficult for the household member to collect laundry and dishwashing grey water going outside the, the, the house to discharge in the treatment system. Therefore, we choose to develop a collection tank here for laundry and dishwashing grey water that is located inside the house. The treatment system that was developed is directly connected to the shower room. It has two main components, a vertical flow filter and a horizontal flow filter that we can see here. The laundry and dishwashing grey water is collected here and it goes, it flows directly into the vertical flow filter. The shower grey water is collected directly to the, the horizontal flow filter. This filter is made of two components, a, an un unplanted filter and a planted filter. The unplanted filter is used as a treatment step and the planted filter is uh, contained sand and the plants. And after the filters, we have a storage tank for treated gray water from which gray water ca can be collected and reused for in gardening. We have constructed the system in two different households. In the first one, like we can see here, Chrysoporonzi dinodes is used as a plant. And in the second household, the plant used was Andropogon Gaines. 
The preliminary results show that the temperature uh, fluctuated between 29 and 32 degrees Celsius. The general reported value are uh, between 18 and 30 degrees Celsius. The high value reported in our study can be explained by the fact that the water was collected during the daytime. During the treatment, the dissolved oxygen increased, increased from the entrance to the outlet of the system. The pH value was alkaline, higher than eight, and it slightly increased during the treatment. This pH, this high pH value can be attributed to the products used to perform the activities. Indeed, some detergents used in the sites like Omo and Clean was shown to have an alkaline pH when they are diluted in, in water. The electrical conductivity of the raw gray water was also high, but it decreased during the treatment to value lower than 1,000 microsiemens per centimeter. This decrease can be explained by the plant's uptake of nutrients and the microbial metabolism. The chemical oxygen demand of raw gray water was also high. This high value can be explained by the non biodegradable covering fiber in laundry gray water, also by the food components present in the dishwashing gray water, and specifically due to the, the fact that the same water was reused for several times to conduct several activities. But the system, the treatment system performed well in the elimination of chemical oxygen demand as for the pretreatment step, the removal efficiency reached 70% uh, and for the whole wetland, the removal efficiency was higher than 90%. Regarding the microbi microbiological pollution, the raw gray water was, uh, had a high content of fecal coliforms and E. coli. As we can see here, value of 8.30 times 10 to the power 8 CFU for 100 milliliter for the first household. And also in the second household, we have high value. These high value are already reported by by previous studies in Burkina Faso. And the system performed well in terms of the elimination of the fecal bacteria. As we can see here, for fecal coliforms and also for E. coli, we have a removal efficiency of up to, of high, up to three log units. And because of this, the final content of gray water in the treated gray water, the final content of E. coli and fecal coliform in the treated gray water was were consistent with the World Health Organization reuse guidelines in restricted for restricted irrigation. So these are interesting results. In conclusion, we can say that we developed wetland allowed the collection of all gray water sources in rural household for treatment. The preliminary results show that the removal efficiency of organic and microbial pollutants are interesting. The tests are still ongoing and the different analysis we are doing will help to compare the influence of the plants in the elimination and the removal of the pollutants. The operation and maintenance issues also will be recorded. And finally, we can consider this complex of shower room and gray water treatment unit as a promising on site gray water treatment system for reuse in rural and peri urban areas. Therefore, I would like to thank you for your interest. Thank you.